the dumbbell cluster. Step one, grab 100 pound dumbbells off the rack. Grab two dumbbells you can press over your head. Line your feet up under your hips, tap the heads of the dumbbells down, jump them up to the shoulders, and then press up. All right, let's break this down, go over a few points of performance if you want some more detail on the movement. If not, don't be a hater, you saw, you saw the video, so I'm gonna talk a little more. If you don't wanna hear about how to do it right, just move on. Leave the comment below, good or bad. So, my feet are in under my hips, in that deadlift stance. And then you just need one side of the dumbbell to tap. Your back needs to be in a good position, this is very important. So I'm gonna hinge down and tap the heads of the dumbbell down. I'm not gonna get my hips really low into the squat stance. I'm gonna keep some tension on my hamstring. Now as I come up into that clean, I fully extend and shrug and jump those dumbbells up. When they land on my shoulders, my feet land in that squat stance. So start here, land here. From here, I'm already on my way down into that squat. And then press up from the side. As you're coming out of that squat, you wanna drive through the hips so those dumbbells jump off the shoulders. It's an important piece to the movement. You want speed out of the bottom. This isn't a slow movement as you're coming out of the squat. You wanna capitalize on that explosiveness. Capitalize. Another variation, you can start with your feet in the squat stance. So notice they're a little bit wider. Two heads of the dumbbell go down in the middle. Still a good position with my back. Jump up and then drive. Which one should I do, coach? I'm not really sure. Which one is the best one? How do I get the most fit? Both of these are gonna be good options. You could take the one from inside your legs to increase that mobility in the low back and hamstrings. So if you have trouble keeping a flat back and you're here, then go a little wider with the feet in that squat stance and you should be able to flatten that back out. That would help. Slightly harder to control when you're on the outside with heavy weight because you're trying to press out a little bit and then you have to get those feet to land in the squat stance. So it's a little bit more dynamic as you can see as you move through it and hit that jump. Let us know if you have any questions, drop a comment below.